Hello everyone, I'm Salad, and welcome back to Witcher 3. Last time, we were helping out the Baron with all of his various troubles, reviving his dead child as a zombie, uh, very normal things like that. And this time, we're going to find the Crones of Crookback Bog, which is continuing on with the uh, quest line that we had with Kira Metz. I... where where is that, by the way? Where the heck are we even going? Let's see. Okay, we've got a long way to travel. So, let's not waste any time. Uh, that's not the right button. I'm gonna have to remember what all my buttons are. Uh, but... <laughs> once I remember what all my buttons are, then... Oh, that's the wrong thing, too. Once I remember what all the buttons are, I will get on my way. And we'll head on over to... Oh, that's also the wrong thing. We'll head on over to, uh... Our objective here. Oh, right. It's, uh... It's this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll make my way over to the objective, and if I find on if I find anything interesting along the way, then I'll let you guys know. Uh, if not, I'm just heading over. That was uh, that was interesting. I wonder what um, what causes like if I can make those type of execution moves happen in any specific way. I don't know. Regardless, it seems like I'm definitely getting stronger. Because I don't remember enemies being that easy to kill. They were level 3 and I am level 5. Let's go. Do my like personal character stats increase with my levels in addition to like uh Doing the attribute points? I don't actually know. Where are my personal stats again? Here we go. Right trigger player stats. Doesn't... I mean, I see my, uh, like, steel sword, blah, 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 and... Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't see any, any stats that, like, just come with the level. Maybe, maybe Vitality does? But, who knows. Anyway, moving on. If there's a stat for... If there's some stat increase by leveling up that's not attributed to perk points, then it's uh, it's not something I know about. It's not something that's that I see in the menu. But it might still exist. Oh, actually, we're uh, already here, wherever here is. Um, let me, let me get off. What the heck is this? Okay, it's a wooden carving of a person with a bunch of emblems on it. All right, you're supposed to like take a child to, if I recall, <laughs> it's been a while since I last played, you're supposed to like take a child to the Crookback Bog and let them go look around following the trail of sweets and then they'll find the witches. I'm guessing those are things that are left by the children or something. All the trail of trees using your witcher senses. Oh yeah, let's just get off of Roach completely. I don't think I don't think that's gonna help us much here. Why do we need a child to tell us where the trail of treats is? Can't we just follow it on our own? Well actually I guess the idea is that witches want children specifically to come here so they can abduct them. Not really that anything's necessary. Okay. These guys are kind of tanky. Am I using my proper silver sword? I was, yes, but then now, now I'm not anymore. Uh, what the heck are they doing? This is a new song. Get away from their damage for a long enough amount of time that our Quen regener can regenerate. Oh, well, uh, we didn't succeed at that. Oh, boy! 
I am not doing so well. This time around. Let's try to... Let's try to use some Yurden. Maybe that'll help us out. Wrong button. Yeah. Uh, not helping out as much as I would like. But it does help out, it does make the move slower. I just wish the area of effect for that wasn't so tiny. Alright, now they're dead. There's not so many of them anymore. Cool! Is that everyone? I don't know if I need this stuff for anything, but... We'll loot them either way. Loot everything we can. There's in Witcher senses. Just a bunch of hanging things, hanging charms. I'm assuming the idea is just follow the path. I don't think we necessarily need to care about Witcher senses, and I see a shack up ahead. Surely that's where we're going. Hmm. Put away our sword. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Love Don't be doing that to a dog. Best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, okay, two, now you're gonna kill the cook too. What a great, what a great rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know you. Go away. <laughs> okay, so these children are fine. At least some of them. That's surprising. When I got here, I was expecting that we would see them, uh, that there wouldn't be any children here. That they were all being, like, cooked in a pot of beans with the, <laughs> by the, uh, by the witches or something, but maybe not. Um, let's ask them, let's, uh, let's ask them about what they're doing what in the What are you doing out here alone? Well, he's not alone. He's with Grab. But where did you all come from? Well, he's orphans. All of you? There's a war, so there's orphans. Didn't know that. That's... what? That doesn't explain things. Um... Alright, let's ask the real question. The swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. He's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Well, this is a very helpful conversation. Uh, <laughs> so, they didn't see Siri, but I don't know if we can trust what they're saying. Mm. We already asked them. They already said that they don't live here alone. So there's no point in asking that again. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the Okay, so they were indeed lying. there's line. no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. <laughs> yeah, we are just coming in here uninvited. It it kind of makes sense that she'd be unhappy with us, but hmm. Let's just get straight just to the point. Talking to the kids, ask them if they've seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely I don't think she's down woman. to chat. What a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her, young, ashen hair. Your betrothed daughter, actually. 
daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. She's just trying to change the subject. And what do you mean? You're, so, she's saying that she doesn't know where her daughter or her, where either of her daughters are? Is that why she took in these orphans? Hmm. As replacements? Yeah, she's clearly trying to change the subject. Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Graham. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's barmy. your What does that mean? And you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. Go on now. Johnny is You'll your invention. In the corner, okay. I'll make sure you do. And you stop scaring the little ones. Now go. Be gone. They just ref all refuse to answer. Very suspicious. You must be coming home from war. Must be coming home from war. Okay, so I have to go to the hut, hut and talk to the boy first. You got any loot that I can steal? You sure do. I will be stealing all the loot. Thank you very much. Journey to the end of the world. I don't think we've read that. Sirens, the Harpies, distant relatives. Oh, Sirens, the Harpies, distant relatives, are winged monsters found in the Skellig Archip Archipelago, most frequently on unpopulated isles or in the inaccessible coastal areas of pop populated ones. According to legend, they're daughters of the mythical winged giant Hrosvog, who lives on the edge of the world and births gales with the waving of his wings. Hrosvog's daughters seek out the company of giants and often make their nests near their lairs. These creatures attack boats and ships from the air, tearing sails and rigging to shreds, and rendering vessels immobile. At times they will snatch men or cattle from the deck and drop them from great heights to their death. They also attack travelers trekking across isolated beaches. I thought sirens were the ones that sing and it, uh, it like messes with people's minds and then they go crazy or something like that. Uh, at least that's how it was in, like, uh, what was it? Was it Odysseus or something? I, it was something. Anyways, what's this other thing? Letter of Safe Conduct? I think we've already read this. Radovid, King of Redania. Parasite document is entitled to write unfettered passage across Pontar River. Okay. Well. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think, I think it's from the Odyssey. That's what I'm thinking of. And Odysseus was the name of the guy in the Odyssey or something. And they got attacked by sh sirens. And they sang a song. And it lured everybody to go stay with them forever and ever. Something like that. Alright, before we go and actually talk to them, we got another house. Oh, it's locked. No secondary way in? Where's the lockpicking mechanic? What kind of Skyrim game is this? What 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 Elder Scrolls game is this where we can't do lockpicking? I know it's not Elder Scrolls, and I know it's not Skyrim. In case anyone was confused. That should have been obvious though. Um, alright, so you. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. Well, what are you gonna do about it? We got us we're the one with the not sword. Allowed. It's not allowed! <laughs> I talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you, and and Johnny's made up, and and stranger still kids. Okay, now he's just uh, that kid's clearly that kid that kid wanted to talk to us before, but now he suddenly doesn't. It's just because, just because the granny told him to say all these things. <clears throat> just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. No, I, I, you know what? I kind of feel like stabbing her. Find a way to lure Gran away from the hut. Ask the children in the swamp village about Johnny. I'm curious. Hey, if I steal your stuff, do you care? Wow, they don't care. They don't care that I'm stealing their stuff. Right in front of her. I mean, I would think that would make her mad. It, she's already as mad as can be. But she doesn't seem to... 
be getting lured away. So I guess uh, I just need to be getting angry, so I guess I'll just steal everything. Ow! Why not? But what I'm gonna do is, once I've looted everything, I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna see if I can stab her. Okay, I can punch. Can't stab, but I, or, or maybe I can, can I take my sword out? Yes, I can, okay. So what I'm gonna do, save game. Uh, let's overwrite. Let's we'll just make an empty save slot, sure. All right, cool. Game saved. Get our seal weapon out and let's just hack her. I wanna see what happens. Oh wait, we can't actually, oh, we can't actually attack her? Wait, what about, what if I use Igni? Will that work? What? Oh, come on. Once again, I've been disappointed. All I can do is threaten to punch her. I can't actually attack her. Okay, well that sucks. All right, well, negative 10 out of 10 game. Worst game of the year. Very sad that I can't beat up your old granny. All right, well. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Hmm. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us and we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails, yuck. Yeah, it's not, that's not a good idea, <laughs> eating snails. They can have some weird stuff in them. Um, Apart from the fact that they're just gross. So, uh, Johnny is apparently an imaginary friend, but obviously that's, there's more to it than that. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Of course I, I do. Seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. All right, fine. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black one. No looking, and you have to count the black out ones, huh? all your fingers. Like about the drowners, two. or One, something else. Two, three, eighteen. The drowners 19, aren't very. They aren't twenty. All black or anything. They're more blue. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> he's very. You can tell by his voice that he's very excited to be doing this. Um. Hmm. I have to find them using Witcher senses. Oh, right. Yeah, that's cheating, though. Oh, I can climb up this? What's this? Hello? Like, can I climb? Like a ladder thing here. Uh, but I cannot... Cannot use it. Apparently, it's only for little ones. Somebody's in here, surely. No? What? That's odd. I would have definitely thought somebody would be there. Oh, hello. There you are. Found me. Hey, that's one of them. I'm gonna try not using Witcher senses to find them. I don't think I need that kind of handicap. That's just cheating. We don't need to cheat when we're competing against children. Let's just look around. There's another one. I These guys. See you. No fair. These people. <laughs> These people are just hiding in the bushes. That's not. That's not real hiding. If you were a real hide and seek player, you'd be hiding on the roof. These kids. What skill issue? 
Um, Alright, maybe on the other side of this house yet again. They seem to like just being behind the houses. Or maybe they're inside one of the houses. It's also likely. Let's check. There you are, yep. See you. Come out. How'd you find me? Hey, you're just in a you're crouching in a house. Oh, this is easy so far. I think I only have one more. Yeah, I only have one more to find. Are they in a different house, maybe? Let's see. Okay, that one's just still sitting there. Alright, I'll get back to you guys when I find the last one. Alright, I give up. <laughs> I have no idea where the last child is. Switching to using Witcher senses. Uh, wait, just leading me back here again. But I can't use this. How do I... Wait. How do I get up there? Okay, so I was right that this was leading here. But then what does that mean? I can't seem to interact with this. Do I need to use my... Okay, apparently that's how you... I tried jumping at it before, I swear. Okay. I thought you couldn't even get up here. Um, where exactly are we going? Now that I'm up here? Wait, so there is somebody down here. Here before. Yes, that's everyone. What? You, all. you don't play right, but we'll help. Come on, let's talk to the others by the cottage. <laughs> I checked in there before. Found I guess I don't know how I missed keep it. Your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Now let's see how they're gonna lead her away. Oh yes, we're super sneaky standing here. She would have taken this kid with her, realistically, then her plan would be doomed. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. His burrow? Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she, she says he's made up. Okay, so this kid doesn't think that Johnny's made up. Is Johnny a drowner? I hope Johnny's not a drowner. I just want it's all that's around here. He could know more than you. Not gonna <laughs> hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. Songs. When he was picking mushrooms. Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there look around you'll see him thank you but the kids said that they haven't seen Johnny recently 
So we might not see them. But I guess I'll find out. Okay, I guess she doesn't care anymore. She's too busy. Alright, let's get moving. Doesn't seem like it's too far, based on the way the minimap is moving. Hold on. Oh, what? Wait, what is that? Water hag. Okay, that's new. Oh, ow. No, get back here. Calm down. Alright, good. One drowner is down. Now we just got the water hag. What do you do, water hag? You do that, okay. Pretty normal. Get up so fast. There we go, jeez. Give me all your loot. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Oh, I'm already at the place? I didn't even realize. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. How do we know that Johnny's small? We could have just killed Johnny and not even knew it. Didn't even tell us what Johnny was. Would have been helpful if we asked the kid whether or not Johnny was even human or not. But whatever. I'm assuming we're following the kid's footprints rather than Johnny's. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. All right, that's got to be it. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. Johnny. Okay, not human. Don't be afraid. Hey, it looks like it's just a regular kid, but with some, uh, something that happened to them. You're a bucka? A bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Uh, it can't seem to Why speak. Not? Yeah. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Hmm? Follow, follow him? Want me to follow you? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what his signal meant. No choice, I guess. Either that or fight me. <laughs> just, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't asking to fight, so. So a godling. I don't think we know what that means. Hold on. Let me check my uh, bestiary. Did we get a new entry in there for that? I doubt it. Devil by the well, wraiths. Godlings, oh we did, awesome. Okay, I, I was, I was, I didn't expect we would because it's an actual character, but 
and not like an enemy, but no, we, we got a whole uh, entry. Let's read about water hags first though, because that's also new. Folks say water hags are drowners wives. If that be true, taint no wonder why they're such ordinary bitches. <laughs> okay. Some tales mention water hags and swamp bints masquerading as lost women to lure travelers back to the rickety shacks they built in the wetlands. In truth, only a blind man or a sighted man blinded with drink could mistake the rank sludge and rotting carrion of a water hag's den for a cozy cottage, and a hideous hag herself for an innocent grandmother. Yeah, it'd be kind of hard to mistake a monster like this for an actual grandma. The wrinkled, wart-covered bodies stand nearly two yards tall with skin the color of a long-dead cadaver and sticking of muck and fish. Bony growths two spans long stick out from their backs. What, two spans, wait. Bony growths two spans long. Yeah, what is, what, what is a span? How long is a span? What does it mean for something to be two spans long? Never heard of a, of a measurement as, known as a span. And they even use yards in this, in the same paragraph. So what are they talking about a span? With hair like a tangle of seaweed and claws that would make a werewolf proud completing the picture. Yeah, weird looking. All right, godlings. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it is nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, buka, or luton. And godlings, they are, all, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. From the preface to the world we have lost by Professor Dorigary. The godlings, sometimes mistaken for Luton, I don't know what a Luton is either, so that doesn't help me, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship for those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn by, to joy and innocence, and so delight in the company of children, and usually only show themselves to the young. But why are they called godlings? It's like they're, they can grow up and become gods, but I don't see anything alluding to that in this so far. These hardworking and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village is a go when the village a godling watches over becomes too populous, or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. They only want peace and quiet, they, that's why they ha are on the outskirts of human settlements, and they help people out, and they don't want much in return. That's all I got from that. Still doesn't this, this un it still doesn't explain why they're called godlings, though, but... Alright. Now we know. Watch out! Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to fight. That's fine by me. Whoa, chill out. Don't be doing no combo on me. What? They just went back in there. Don't be going back underwater. Alright, can I get a better camera angle, by the way? You need to be able to see all of them at once. Ah, don't do that. Oh, am I in poison this? I didn't realize. Chill out, please. <laughs> Taking some actual damage here and I don't like it. That point. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm coughing too. Poison mist going through the screen. What I'm trying to say is that the poison mist is a re really big problem because it gets rid of my Quen. And I'm dead. Okay. 
got a little bit uh, a little bit too crazy there. I definitely have to be very careful of poison mist because it counts as a hit, which removes my Quen, which means I can't survive anything. All right, let's try this again. Put up our defenses. Hurry it up. Damn it. All right, now let's get our Yurden out and back to Quen. Good, he's stuck on a brand or whatever. All right, worth it. Come on, get over here. Once again, switch to Yurden. That's, that seems to be a good combo. Ooh, I like the way that sliced him. Stay close to me. Okay, now we got bees. Go away, bees. Lead the way already. Preferably not near bees. Lead the way faster. This the place? Let me look around. What is he leading us to help with though exactly? Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Okay. That doesn't really make much sense to me, but sure. Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> Very happy about that, okay. Well, that's not... That should be too difficult, right? Just hop and hop and hop until we're up. Nope, keep hopping, keep hopping. There we go. The raven nest? Oh wait, we got a harpy attacking us? This is new. I've never fought one before. Oh! Okay, apparently you can finish them with X. Good to know. Hold on. Wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm messing up, I'm messing up. Come on, come closer. No, it's not what I want. I want my crossbow out. There we go, jeez. I'm getting my key binds, but it's okay. Cool. Oh, it's a wyvern. Wow. Oh, what happened? Oh no, game crashed, huh? I think so. I think I'm doomed. Yep, okay, game crashed. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, I will send a crash report and restart the game. Fortunately, I don't think we have far to go to come back to where we were since it auto-saves. Okay, we are back. I have to replay a little bit of it. But we're here again. Let's get everything ready. Ow. Rather than the wyvern, I'd like to be attacking the harpies, but the harpies are just busy doing their thing. There we go. Die. Glad I got that Quen in there. Chill out. Nice. Alright, we only got one thing to deal with now. Do that. 
I don't know what's good against the Wyvern, but we're gonna use our regular abilities as always. These are some heavier hits. Got it. All right. Give me all your wyvern goodies and harpy goodies. That's the first time we've seen any of that. And we also got it in the bestiary, it said. So let's we'll take a look at that. Let's learn a bit about it. <clears throat> wyverns. Most dangerous of all are royal wyverns, or as they're called in some circles, the royal pains in the arse. Wyverns are often mistaken for dragons, and though they are much smaller than their most fa more famous kin, and do not breathe fire, they are likewise extremely dangerous monsters. Especially feared are the so-called royal, royal wyverns, who like their namesake monarchs wait, who like their namesake monarchs are exceptionally ornery and extremely deadly. Oh right, a griffin is what we fought earlier. I was, uh, getting myself a bit confused. And then harpies. Most monsters don't actually keep any treasure in their lairs. Harpies, though, they like shiny things. Okay, so then maybe we should go try to find where these harpies came from. It's hard to say what, it's, what's, what is most repulsive about harpies and their cousins. The shish... Shishigas? Their hideous appearance, the overwhelming scent of, scent of rot and bird excrement that clings to them, or their blood-curdling screech. It seems like everything has a scent of rot in this game. Every single, every single enemy has the, it has like a, the look of a corpse and it's rotted and it's has poop on it. And like it's, it's all the same stuff, basically. Suffice it to say that even rats who dwell happily amongst the rankest fecal matter and rotten waste give their nests wide berth. Harpy nests are most often found atop high cliffs or rocky ravines. Sure signs of having strayed near one are uh, crumbling human and animal remains. Okay. Guano streaked rocks and feathers littering the ground. Harpies and shish shishigas hunt in flocks consisting of a handful to up to 20 individuals. I don't think we're going to find battles, battles that big, uh, but maybe. Though rather cowardly and cautious, Harpies fiercely defend their nest and will not hesitate to attack when outnumbering their foes. During combat, they use their ability to fly to dive swiftly to strike their victims one by one before soaring back up out of reach. It didn't seem like they did that very much. It seemed like they were hovering within reach most of the time and also landed on the ground quite frequently. They can kill with their wings or their sharp beak and talons. Once on the ground, they move slowly and clumsily, and thus no longer pre present much of a threat. Okay. Anyways, what's this item that we needed? Sealed bottle? And raven's feather. Bottle. Also, I see birds up ahead. Let me, let me check what's up ahead here. If I could find the raven's... I mean, not the ravens. The uh, the place where the harpies came from. That's apparently where loot is. I'd be interested in loot. Run all the way. New marker, place of power. Oh, is this one of those things that gives me an extra skill point? I needed to find more of these. Medallion's humming. Place of power. Okay. It's gotta be. And this is a Yurden one. Thank goodness, I want to find as many of these as I can. Okay, and Yurden sign intensity increased. Some trousers, some money. Alright, very worth coming up here. Let me take a look at the trousers that we just got. Are they worth using? Uh, apparently they are. Resistance to piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. And the ones I'm using I think are just basic ones, right? 
Yeah, piercing, bludgeoning, slashing, but it's worse. So yeah, we'll put on the new trousers. And then we should be able to level up, right? Like it said. Yeah, we got... We got a perk point to spend. So let me figure out how I'm going to spend this real quick. Okay, I think I'm going to level up uh, Delusion. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is because... It would be kind of cool to have to be able to make somebody an ally for a little bit. That's also a potential defensive skill, allowing me to avoid damage by getting enemies off my back, forcing them to fight each other. And that's also the kind of, kind of ability that isn't affected by difficulty levels, I would think, because the enemies are fighting each other. So if they're stronger and have more HP, the one I turn is also going to be stronger and have more HP. So that seems like a good way to level the playing field. But more importantly, it's because I need one more point in the branch to unlock any of these additional abilities for either Yurden or Quen. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, acquire ability. There we go. And the next time we acquire an ability, it'll uh, move towards, I guess we'll move towards active shield, right? Creates an active shield, maintaining and blocking attack strength, stamina. Damage absorber, the shield restores vitality. A way to heal, that's, that's really nice. And this, and then also the magic trap destroying projectiles, also really good. Yeah, there's a lot of really good things to look forward to here. Sign intensity, absorb damage, refle yeah, reflecting damage. And like health drain. Some cool stuff, some cool stuff to look forward to. What is that down there? Some weird person with horns. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll go talk to the kid again. The godling. Give him his bottle. I don't know how that's supposed to get his voice back though. It's all just random magic stuff. None of it makes much sense. Right, hello there. Here. Drink. Whiskey, slither, ringworm, rubbish, bumblebee, flabbergasted. Ha! The sound of it. Why was his voice trapped in there? I guess he's gonna explain it in a second, but <laughs> why, why did you store your voice in a bottle? Peter Piper, Big Prince Proxima, a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Uh, yeah, why did you lose your voice? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the Then why is it in a bottle? Word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? What is a smudger, a drowner? Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but Blackbird. I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Hmm. Okay, so that per the lady that we found with all the children, is she not one of the crones? Do I have that wrong? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. 
quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I see. So we we already kind of knew that she went towards. Well, actually, no. I guess they're talking about a different village. That, that little area was not a village. Could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. Oh no, they are talking about that. Stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay, I got a little bit confused about that conversation because they were talking about going back to the exact person that we just literally just talked to. At least I'm I'm thinking that's what they just said. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, I don't really want to fight these drowners right now. I just want to get back to the village I was at. Yeah, let's head out of here. Yeah, they call it a village, but it's just... It only only one <laughs> lady and a bunch of children live there, so can you really call this a village? Oh no, it said follow Johnny. I thought I was leading Johnny. Fine. Fine then, lead the way, Johnny. Be that way. Damn it. Okay, I guess I have to defeat the monsters. Now well, we've got a stronger Gurdon sign, so let's use it. Whatever that even means, honestly. Doesn't seem to be slowing them down by an additional amount, so... I don't really know how making it stronger is supposed to help. Does it need the health drain effects for that to even do anything? I don't know. Okay, chill out. Let me keep my... Quen sign up for a second. I want to change targets too. I need to kill the drowners. Stop running away. Stop running away. There you go. Jeez. Okay. Good. They still have their uh, health the way it was before. Good. No escape this time. You're stuck on a tree. Ow. I just barely got a Quen in there to save me. That didn't work. Alright, come on. Attack me. One. Nope. Just one to hit that time. Another just one hit. One. And another one hit. She's not doing her double hit anymore. I guess it's fine, but... There's her double hit. Fun. There we go. Jeez. I have to continue following Johnny. Sure, sure, sure. Go, Johnny, go. What's this? This is weird. Uh. Huh? I guess I'll extinguish this. I don't think this will do anything, but maybe it will. Okay, that did nothing. Cool. Moving on. Lead the way, Johnny. Lead the way faster, Johnny. Trying to push him along, but doesn't seem to work. 
He's also like stutter stepping. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Okay, so he's just confirming she's not one of the crones. She's not one of the crones that is leading children into here to abduct them and but, but she's got a bunch of chil she got a bunch of orphans with her. So I don't know. I'm still confused. But I'm sure it'll all become clear soon. Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Hop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You. You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You not shouldn't allowed? have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. <laughs> she's, she's still Please, on about this. Important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, Please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. <laughs> His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Well, fine then. Well, thanks a lot, Godkin, Godling. But man, this would have been a lot easier if she just helped us out in the first place. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Hmm. Who are the women in the tapestry? The crones, I would guess? Those are the ladies. Yeah. Ladies Why does she not want to bring us to them? Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. I guess she's... She probably doesn't want to have us meet them because it probably means bad things for her and for the children. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. I mean, technically this old granny is ashen haired. It's clear. So it's kinda of weird that we're asking for an ashen haired looking for an ashen haired woman and she's technically an ashen haired woman. Perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen oh, okay. <laughs> As usual, gotta help a person to help a person to help a person to figure out anything. Or a witch hunter. Not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. You have to go to some place in Down Warren. It will bring you the dagger. And kill a thing. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. 
And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Also, that wasn't so bad. They just did usual RPG things and giving us a quest. Oh, they go do a quest. Go do. Why. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. That wasn't so hard. You. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. <laughs> Keep saying the dagger. <laughs> Calm down. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. What are you going on about? So it said place the payment on the stone? What? What are you talking about? We, we don't have the, the payment because we didn't do the mission yet. So I have to talk to the Eldermen of Dan Warren about a problem they're having with some monster. I have to kill the monster so that these people can help me to go tell me where the Siri what how come everybody's got problems isn't it where, where is the person who's like oh yeah I don't have any problems I'm just some person yeah I can tell you where she went she went that way I don't have any problems that need to be solved uh thanks be on your way where's that person huh how come everybody we talk to they're all like oh yeah we got all sorts of issues that we need you to solve uh uh we, we got a world you have to save and you have to go through three parallel universes uh, before you can before we can help you 